The current national anthem of South Africa was adopted in 1997 and is a hybrid song combining New English lyrics with extracts of the 19th century hymn, Nkosi Sikolol Africa, English, God Bless Africa, lit. Lord Bless Africa, and the Afrikaans song, Die Stem van Suid Africa, English, The Voice of South Africa which was formerly used as the South African national anthem from the late 1930s to the mid-1990s. The South African national anthem is often referred to by its insipid of N Kosi Sikolol Africa. However this has never been its official title, which is simply National Anthem of South Africa. Topic. Structure The fact that it shifts modulates and ends in a different key, a feature it shares with the Italian and the Philippine national anthems, makes it compositionally unusual. The lyrics employ the five of the most widely spoken of South Africa's eleven official languages, Kosa first stanza, first two lines, Zulu first stanza, last two lines, Sasutu second stanza, Afrikaans third stanza, and English final stanza. The first half was arranged by M. Kumhalo and the latter half of the song was arranged by Jean Zeidel Rudolph, who also wrote the final verse. History Background From the late 1940s to the early 1990s, South Africa was governed by a system known as apartheid, a widely condemned system of institutionalized racial segregation and discrimination that was based on white supremacy and the repression of the black majority for the benefit of the politically and economically dominant Afrikaner minority and other whites. During this period, South Africa's national anthem was, Die Stem van Suid Africa, also known as, Die Stem an Afrikaans language song that chronicled the Vortrekkers and their great trek. Die Stem is a poem written by C. J. Langenhoven in 1918 and was set to music by the Reverend Martinus Lorenz de Villiers in 1921. Die Stem, English, the voice of South Africa, was the co-national anthem with God Save the King, God Save the Queen between 1938 and 1957, when it became the sole national anthem until 1994. Die Stem van Suid Africa, English, The Voice of South Africa, was composed of eight stanzas the original four in Afrikaans and four in English, a translation of the Afrikaans with a few modifications. It was seldom sung in its entirety, usually the first stanza was the most widely known and sung sometimes followed by the last stanza. When apartheid came to an end in the early 1990s, the future of Die Stem van Suid Africa was called into question. It was ultimately retained as the national anthem, though, N Kosi Sikolol Africa, a Kosa language song that was used by the anti-apartheid movement, was also introduced and adopted as a second national anthem of equal standing. N Kosi Sikolol Africa was composed by a Methodist school teacher named Enoch Santonga in 1897. It was first sung as a church hymn but later became an act of political defiance against the apartheid regime. The South African government adopted both songs as dual national anthems in 1994, when they were performed at Nelson Mandela's inauguration. For the 1995 Rugby World Cup, Mornay du Plessis suggested that the Springboks learn all the words of N Kosi Sikolol Africa and They did so with great feeling, according to their instructor Anne Munich. Inception The practice of having two national anthems proved cumbersome as performing both of them took as much as five minutes. This was rectified when South Africa's dual national anthems were merged in abridged forms in early 1997 to form its current national anthem. The new national anthem was performed at an opening of the South African Parliament in February 1997, and was published in the South African Government Gazette on 10 October 1997. During the drafting of the new national anthem, it was requested by South African President Nelson Mandela that it be no more than 1 minute and 48 seconds in length. The new English lyrics were adapted from the last four lines of the first stanza of Die Stem van Suid Africa, 
English, the call of South Africa, with the changes made to reflect hope in post-apartheid South African society. Lines borrowed from the two previous national anthems were modified to be more inclusive, omitting overt reference to specific groups. Thus, lines from the apartheid-era national anthem's first stanza referencing the Vortrekkers' Great Trek were omitted, as this was the experience of only one section of our community. Likewise, the words Woza Moya, used in Nkosi Sikolol Iafrika, were also omitted, as the phrase is a specifically Christian reference, rather than a generically religious one, and thus not acceptable to South Africans of other religions, particularly Muslim South Africans. The English version of Die Stem van Suid Afrika was less prominent than the Afrikaans version and thus could be changed with little objection or controversy. As such, the English portion of the new South African national anthem was the one changed from the previous version. Criticism <coughs> 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 In recent years, the South African national anthem has come under criticism for its Afrikaans verse as it originally part of the national anthem of South Africa that was used during the apartheid era, with some calling for the verse to be removed because of this connection. Others defend the inclusion of the verse, pointing out that it is included in large part due to the wishes of the first post-apartheid South African president, Nelson Mandela, who intended its inclusion as a reconciliatory measure for the post-apartheid future of South Africa. Lyrics See also National Anthem of Tanzania National Anthem of Zambia National Anthem of the Transvaal National Anthem of the Orange Free State List of National Anthems <laughs>